welcome to Happy Reading with Darby G. In this segment, I'm going to introduce you to a couple of our nonfiction books that range in age recommendations, probably from like six upwards, even up through the high school range. Um, it's just kind of up to your reader and your, his, his or her interest levels. Um, the story of science is a hardback one, and um, it will walk you through. It will walk your child through. The, the topics that are covered are planet Earth, our place in space, physics, chemistry, prehistoric, the human body, living things, numbers, and counting. And it's presented in such an interesting way. Like what Usborne really tries to do is um, balance out the text with illustrations and graphics that will, you know, get your child interested as well as um, help them learn because when more than one area of their brain is engaged they learn better um, it is it's a little bit more dense of a read so I mean it's I, if you have an adult that wants to know this stuff this is not too young for them and um, just a really really interesting look into all the things in science same with the story of inventions which I have become fascinated with it's the real life stories behind it but what sparked these ideas from the inventors that have changed our life with these items um, the story of adhesive bandages, but again, the layout is just like the story of science, so it's kind of got that same feel to it. Um, very casual writing, but interesting. If you have a child that is really into weather, um, I highly recommend Weather and Climate Change. This talks about how, why does the wind blow, why do hurricanes and floods occur, um, as well as what global warming means for the future and how they know global warming is for sure a thing. Um, it's about the science behind it all, but they pair it all this with these bite-sized chunks of text, so it's not like a dense read. Um, they pair it with illustrations and um, beautiful imagery to really show and tell the story of um, weather and global warming. And I got this for my husband, so um, you, again, I don't think you can be too old. So for the science lovers out there, and actually for anybody that likes little bits of random information, um, 100 Things to Know About Science, you could put this in your bathroom and it would probably get read. Um, look at how cute, cool, the I say cute when I really mean cool, sorry. <laughs> um, look at how cool the pages are and it is um, all this information. Scient scientists expect to find alien life in the Goldilocks zone and it will talk about where the planets are most likely to support life. Um, this page is about bridges, there's things about um, Arctic, the Arctic turns and why they migrate, um, light can push, but yeah, so there's a hundred different things and it's kind of presented in a magazine style, so um, the infographics that will be sure to entice your children and get, and you, um, and get you learning some random stuff. This is one that comes in and out of stock and it is one of my favorites, um, it's the Children's Encyclopedia. Um, and this will range in so much information. I, I kind of laugh because um, we had encyclopedias growing up and they were just like text and some black and white graphics. Um, and of course, they've gone the way of the dodo bird now that we have Google. However, I think it's such a novelty idea now, a novel idea now to have tangible, beautiful pieces of information in your house. Because guess what? Your kids will get interested in a subject if they can see it. And not everything online it's going to be enticing to them. They have to first search for it to find it online. But if this is sitting out and they're flicking through, they might all of a sudden get an idea to write their next um, research paper or pick out something for their science project from, from something they found in a tangible, beautifully written. It's a gateway to knowledge for what they call fact-hungry children. We have several encyclopedias. We have a ge geography encyclopedia, ge uh, encyclopedia of science. Um, so don't discount that. And the bonus side of it, they do have internet links, which means you can find these, um, I think they call them QRC codes, and you can scan it or go to um, the website and you will be able to learn even more about that topic. So what a great, fascinating way to learn. I bought this one for me because the human body, although I'm like not science minded, it still fascinates me. And um, this breaks down the human body with imagery and bite-sized chunks of information again. Um, more for those people that are really interested in how it works. We have several body books, several body books, but this one is a little more textbook based without being super dense. Um, it's engaging, has friendly text, so it's not too um, inaccessible for the readers. Highly recommend that. Forensic science, again, for those mystery lovers out there, this brings it home. Um, they, it talks about all about how the best detectives will use logic as well as science to solve mysteries. 
and um, or crimes, I'm sorry, and describes about all the different evidence, way the different ways, and that they can put all this evidence together to sign to solve the crime, like exploding evidence, um, the timeline, all the info on polygraphs. Um, it's just a really interesting read, and I myself was a mystery lover when I was younger, so it's kind of brought that back to me, and I'm going to be definitely reading it. Um, Gardening for Beginners. I actually bought this for my husband. <laughs> um, he's the green thumb in the family, and I just thought it was such a really gorgeous book um, to learn all this simple information that we just don't know um, about gardening from anywhere from bulbs to vegetables to how to trim your um, different herbs strawberry tower, companion plants, compost and plant food. Totally cannot go wrong if you have a someone that's interested in gardening but just doesn't know where to start. We have a couple pocket books, super cute. These are only $4.99, a little cute add-on for any gifts. Um, this one's about insects, so they can just carry it with them as they go looking for creatures outside. and tells you all about the information that you need on the insects, as well as a picture. So if you find something, you can go through here and find the one that it is and they can read and learn about it and learn not to touch that kissing beetle. Have you heard about that bug? Yeah, it's scary. And lastly, this one's a little bit more fun slant, but I wanna show it to you because it teaches at the same time. Um, this is a, this is like Where's Waldo, but it's Where's Will, as in Will Shakespeare. And it will talk about the plays of Shakespeare and then it has a scene with where you're supposed to find the characters that they've shown on the page before. You find all these characters and it talks about, the like for this one, it is As You Like It his play as you like it, but they have Julius Caesar, um, and in every single one, Will Shakespeare is in there. Romeo and Juliet. Um, yeah, it's just an awesome, awesome one. You're always going to be looking for Will, as well as his um, other characters. So yeah, that's it for Happy Reading with Darby G.